Hey guys, happy 4th of July. We are in Microsoft Flight Simulator, of course, uh, with Say Intentions AI. I thought I'm still hanging around in the icon here, doing some touring, doing some casual flighting, just checking things out. And since you can use Say Intentions AI for serious flights and for casual stuff, you know, I figured I'd bring it along for just casual flights, and I figured I'd try to find the Statue of Liberty. Now, I should know where it is, but, well, I'm Canadian, so I don't... Well, I pretty much know where it is. It's over here somewhere, right? Uh, yeah, over there. Looks like the, my photogrammetry isn't quite loaded yet. Everything's kind of looking weird at the moment. There's, like, the Empire State Building standing on its own. I wonder if my uh, graphics settings change or something. Well, we'll see if it pops in or not. Maybe my internet's running slow. But anyways, here we are in the icon. We're flying. Oh, actually, I'm climbing uh, way too much. I don't actually want to go too, too high. Uh, but yeah, I've got the AI with me, and they have some new things. They This came out uh, oh, a week ago or two or something. Uh, they have um, cabin crew now. So here, let's just talk to them. Hello, are you there today? See if I can... Hello, Captain. Erica here. Yes, I'm here and ready to assist. Right, so they have three different cabin crews. Now, of course, I don't really need a cabin crew uh, for, for this little aircraft, of course. Uh, but I thought maybe I would, you know, talk to them, see what they could do, because there's, uh, there's quite a few of them, actually. Uh, so you can now have like a full cabin crew to talk to while you're doing your your big uh, Boeing 747 flights or whatnot. Hey Erica, how many of uh, there are you? Hey Captain, we have four crew members on board today. Myself, Brian, Melanie, and Abby. Okay, and uh, now that's... Uh, I was trying earlier and... It's only Erica. I think she said her name is Erica, right? It's only Erica that talks. I couldn't get it to, to have like another one talk, but anyways. Um, I think it's this program for Erica. And she kind of sounds like Sarah, so I'm wondering if they're reusing voices and personalities. I'm not really too sure. Sarah is another one of the, is one of the tour guides. Uh, but I could just be hearing things. Uh, but let's make a little turn here, because I think this is the Statue of Liberty. Yes, I see it from here. Okay. Let's see if things start to load in. And, uh, well, we've got a bridge in front of us. I don't really know the area, and I don't have a map open. Let's just see if they know, uh... Hey, Erica, what's that bridge in front of us at the 12 o'clock? Which one's that one? Let's see if she knows here. Captain, I'm not sure about the specific bridge at our 12 o'clock. My focus is on ensuring the comfort and safety of our passengers. Is there anything else I can assist you with? Uh, I was wondering if they could talk to you about things too. So, I guess you need one of the one of the other actual co-pilots uh, to be able to uh, to talk about that. But uh, yeah, so <laughs> I wonder what sort of things you can talk to them about since they're new. Uh, yeah, like. Uh, I guess you'd ask him to give an announcement. Hey, Erica, could you give the passengers uh, one of your standard announcements? We're just pretending we're a big aircraft. Here, stuff's loading in now. Good okay, afternoon, it's ladies and gentlemen. This is Erica, your lead flight attendant speaking. On behalf of Captain Bumble and the entire crew, I'd like to welcome you aboard our Icon A5 Kenmore livery aircraft. We are currently what? cruising at an altitude oh, of 2,691 feet. The weather at our departure and arrival airport, Francis Escabreski, is calm with a visibility of 10 miles and a few clouds at 7,000 feet. The temperature is a pleasant 62 degrees Fahrenheit. We hope you enjoy the rest of your flight. If you need any assistance, please don't hesitate to ask one of our crew members, Brian. And Melanie or Abby. Thank you. Well, that was pretty standard. So they have uh, three cabin crews. So this is like the professional one. And then there's one that, like, is not very good at the job. And then Janet and Toby are another one. So you get you get Janet again. If you don't know, Janet's sort of this uh, very unique personality who's one of the tour guides. Uh, but we'll hang out with uh, these guys today. But doesn't look like they might... Uh, it doesn't look like they'll 
talk too much about the things uh, going around there. Oh, here, maybe if we if we involve the passengers, maybe they will. Hey, Erica, could you give the passengers a little uh, speech about the Statue of Liberty? give a speech about the Statue of Liberty. Aww. That's outside the scope of my duties as a flight attendant. Is there anything else I can assist you with? Oh man, they're the Saint Engine's really locking these guys down. Uh they should they should open up and have like allow a little bit of fun there. Where they could give uh you know give a give a speech or something like that. Um so I wonder I wonder what you completely use them for other than like basic little announcements and things like that. Uh, where are the emergency exits on this aircraft? Captain, the emergency exits on this Icon A5 are located at the front and rear of the aircraft. Please ensure all passengers are aware of their nearest exit. The rear? It's just right and left, isn't it? <laughs> Anyways. And this, this has a parachute, doesn't it? All right, let's see if she knows that. I think uh, this Icon A5 has a parachute, doesn't it? Let's see if she knows about that. Yes, Captain. The Icon A5 is equipped with a whole airplane parachute system for emergencies. Okay, so she kind of knows about that. So you can't tell the passengers anything about the Statue of Liberty? Discussing landmarks like the Statue of Liberty <laughs> isn't part of our usual announcements. If there's anything specific you'd like me to convey to the passengers, please let me know. Oh, I want an announcement about the Statue of Liberty. Yeah, okay. Oh, well, I guess you need a tour guide for that. So maybe we will uh, switch over to a tour guide. Should we... Uh, here, actually, let's switch cabin crews. Uh, what we're going to do is, you ca I can't really show uh, Say Intentions on the screen because it doesn't really show up that well. But you can go in there and like uh, switch it up. So we're going to switch over to uh, Toby and uh, Janet. Toby apparently is a monkey. Um, let's just see if they're here. Okay, so we kicked those guys out. Let's see if they're here. Hey Janet, are you and Toby here now? Yes, Captain. Toby and I are here, ready to serve. Or at least try to. You know, like how you try to land the plane smoothly. <laughs> oh, Janet, she's so funny. Okay, uh... <laughs> okay, Janet. You, uh, also work as a tour guide, right? Oh, Captain, if by tour guide you mean pointing out the obvious and making bad jokes then yes i'm practically a professional but let's stick to flying shall we or whatever it is you call what you're doing up there man saucy okay janet can you give the passengers a speech about the statue of liberty please okay will she do it now here it is. Oh, did I lose Janet now? Come on, Janet, we want a speech about the Statue of Liberty. Ah. Uh, all right, well, why will we wait for her? Uh, I gotta make my normal... Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Janet, your flight attendant, speaking. If you look out the window, you might see the Statue of Liberty. It's that big green lady holding a torch, looking like she's hailing a taxi. <laughs> Fun fact, she's actually French, which explains the constant look of disdain. She was a gift from France, probably because they didn't have room for her in their tiny apartments. Enjoy the view and remember, she's been standing there since 1886 which is longer than our captain's been trying to land this plane smoothly. <laughs> Cheers! Okay. 
That's awesome. I'm gonna have to turn that into a short or something now. I'm gonna do do my little timestamp of ten minutes. <laughs> that was actually pretty good. Like she's gonna be hailing a a taxi. Anyways, I'll probably be landing uh, here uh, now because I want to keep the videos kind of short. I uh, talked about this, but uh, if you like say intentions and want to help the channel out, I always got to remember to do this. I have an affiliate link in the description for a free 24 hour trial of the program. Helps the channel out a lot. Just click on the little linky and then uh, check them out. Works for uh, Flight Sim 2020 and 2024, or the upcoming 2024, next plane 12. And uh, let's just do a water landing. Let's see what Janet thinks about that. Hey, Janet and uh, Toby, what do you guys think? Uh, think the passengers will think about a water landing right now? Seems to be a little delayed tonight. This looks pretty good down here, though, with the photogrammetry. Well, she was, uh, it was responding pretty quick. Now it seems well, to... Captain, oh. I reckon the passengers might think a water landing is a bit like oh. an unexpected bath. Refreshing, but not exactly what they signed up for. And considering your usual landings, they might prefer to stay dry this time. Yeah, okay. Well, we'll just do it. So the photogrammetry sort of loading in. I remember loading in faster. I haven't come this way in a while. I don't remember having this much trouble. Kind of meh. Okay. Ooh. Oh, well. Now, uh, it was looking okay over here. All right, well, let's just land it. We'll put it down here. I remember landing in, uh, like, the photogrammetry water. Sometimes a little iffy or so, but, uh, we'll do one of these little landings anyways. And I'll have to plan my next flight for next time. I'm kind of enjoying just touring around in here. I guess I'm going way too fast for a uh, water landing. It's kind of flying down. Well, we'll hit the water anyways. It'll slow us down. 70 knots or something. Whoa! There's a bounce. There's lots of skipping. We're just skipping down the water. We're doing lots of jumps. There we go. Perfect. Landing in the bay. Nice little water effects. Okay, well that's it for now. We'll just uh, end it here. So there. Uh, so that's say intentions. Uh, they're updating all the time. Work in progress, of course. Uh, but hopefully you guys can tune in to the next one. I'll have to figure out the next adventure and who to bring along for it. Uh, but thanks a bunch for watching. Take care. See you in the next one.